Here is your friend and faithful narrator looking at the same area from below. I managed to get just now the last couple of pieces and just wanted to commemorate hopefully the last two drywall screws or nails, pardon me, that will come out in the next few minutes. Yeah. I win! Now, <clears throat> when I say that I win, of course that's relative because although that battle might be over, the war is far from done. So just cleaning up that one little spot generated, um, yeah, you know, an entire bag full of this stink. So anyway, still counts as progress. I just had <clears throat> kind of a strange trip down memory lane when I was in the uh, infantry reserves, which is coming on 30 years ago now. We used to do uh, not firing drills. I can't remember what, what they were called. But anyway, before we even had a weapon in our hands, they would lead us through... Uh, troubleshooting because obviously if um, something goes wrong with your weapon when you need your weapon and you don't know how to fix it well that's kind of a big deal <clears throat> so what we used to have was this uh, almost a, a chorus you're firing you're firing firing stops what do you do and I don't know why that came into my head but it did because I was vacuuming I was vacuuming, and I was vacuuming, and vacuuming stops. What do you do? Well, you pull out the pliers, and you get yet another freaking nail. Uh, uh, and then you go back to vacuuming. You're vacuuming, you're vacuuming, you're vacuuming. Vacuuming stops. What do you do? Well, you get your pliers again. Yeah. I'd like to tell you it's the last one, but we know better. Now we're kicking it old school. I uh, encountered a lot of this while I was pulling down the, um, the large expanses, particularly at edges and, and you know, in corners and stuff. Um, and... I found a nest of it down. Is that another nail? Oh my goodness. No, it's just more of this stuff at a funny angle. Anyway, um, yeah. I don't really know what to say about it. I, I guess I'm just providing a warning to those of you uh, renovating your own mid-century modern crack house. Some people are like, I want to be like a lion. And some people are like, I'm going to be like a Wolverine. And I'd be like, I want to be like 1960s plaster because that shit is impossible to kill. Unbelievable. I mean, like, I, I, I hit it with an air hammer trying to break it up, but I can't because it's, uh, I don't know, reinforced with the steel mesh. I'm, I'm yanking at it with the pliers on the, the ears and it just won't do anything. I had the pry bar out. Nothing works. I end up taking the uh, reciprocating saw and uh, basically sawing it in half enough that I can grab on it. And of course, even at that point, it's such a pain in the arse because they don't just put the stuff in there and hope for the best. They use more nails. But I'm winning.
I'd like to tell you that these are the last ones, but you know how it goes.